This is Luke from Emo Electric, and we're here today to compare two Torquedo motors, the Travel S and the Travel XP. So both of these motors were released last year, 2024. The Travel S is a three horsepower, one kilowatt motor, and it's basically the same Torquedo motor that they've been known for for 20 years, but the most recent iteration. Uh, they made a lot of improvements to it. We made a whole other video comparing the Travel S to the 1103, which was the previous generation. Uh, so we won't get into that here, uh, but we will link it below. Uh, on the other hand, we have the Travel XP. The Travel XP is a five horsepower or 1.6 kilowatt motor. Uh, so everything you get in the Travel S, you get with the Travel XP, uh, just a little bit more power there. In terms of price, the uh, Travel S for the short shaft version is $2,998, about $3,000, uh, and the XP is $3,998, or about $4,000. So those are the prices right now. Wouldn't be surprised if those change given the tariff situation, but uh, either way, paying about a thousand bucks more for the Travel XP for that extra capacity and that extra horsepower. Uh, speaking of capacity, the battery for the Travel S is 1,080 watt hours, whereas the XP battery is uh, 1425 watt hours. So you do have higher capacity to keep your runtime up uh, with a motor that has a higher power output. One other note on cost is that of a replacement battery. For the Travel S, replacement battery is 1349 and it's 1749 for the Travel XP. And again, that has to do with the higher capacity. Uh, speaking of the batteries, they're actually the same exact form factor. So if we take both of these off, put them on the table, you'll see that the shell is the same for both batteries, right? So same dimensions there. Uh, the difference is just internal. There's more cells, uh, higher capacity in the XP battery. Uh, that also makes it a little bit heavier. So the XP battery is 21 pounds. The Travel S battery is 19 pounds. Um, the shaft of the Travel XP is also about two and a half pounds heavier than the Travel S. So all in all, uh, the Travel XP is four and a half pounds heavier than the Travel S. Um, XP comes in at 49 pounds with the motor and the battery, and the Travel S is 44 and a half pounds with the motor and the battery. So in terms of range, you get about an hour of runtime with the Travel S at full power and about 45 minutes of runtime with the Travel XP at full power. And even though the Travel XP battery has a higher capacity, you're drawing more power uh, when you're going at full throttle, right? 1.6 kilowatts versus 1.1 kilowatts. Um, the thing to keep in mind there is that's at full power, right? So if you have the Travel S running at 1.1 kilowatts, you get about an hour. If you bring your Travel XP down to a power output of 1.1 kilowatts or the same max power output as the Travel S, you will have more than an hour of runtime, right? Because you have an extra 400 watts or so of capacity. Uh, so some people get kind of tripped up thinking that, you know, the Travel S has a higher runtime than the Travel XP. It does, but that's only at full power output and you actually have uh, more juice with the Travel XP battery because it's higher capacity. Uh, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about that, check out our video on the Travel XP. We test that out on a 19 foot sailboat uh, and mess around with the power output and the runtime. Uh, and I think you'll, you'll see that the XP is probably plenty for most people, even though it's only 45 minutes at full power. So next we're gonna try these two motors out on the water and we're gonna see uh, how their top speed differs on our dinghy. All right, so we're out on the water. We've got our Torquedo Travel S. Again, that's their one kilowatt, three horsepower motor. Uh, and it's a pretty windy day here. It might be hard to tell on the video, uh, but we want to kind of compare these two motors in relatively calm conditions. We're going with the wind without a lot of wave action. And then again, uh, going into the wind and into some waves and see what sort of added benefit we get from having the XP instead of just the Travel S. So right now we're in the lee of all this land behind us. We're gonna head away from that to get out into the waves. 
and then we'll see what our top speed is like going with the wind. We'll see what it's like when it's relatively calm and we'll see what it's like when we're going into the waves and then we're going to repeat that with the travel XP. All right, so in our first uh, set of data here, we're doing about four and a half knots. We've got about 45 minutes of runtime and we're at about 82% charge. So if we were at 100%, we would probably see uh, you know, that hour of runtime more or less that Torquedo advertises. All right, so now we've turned around. We're going into about 15 knots of breeze. Not much wave action here because we're pretty sheltered. But now our top speed is down to about four knots. Our runtime is about the same as it was before. Uh, so you can see we've lost about half a knot going from with the wind to into the wind. All right, so we're out here for round two. This time we've got the Torquedo Travel XP on the stern of our dinghy. Uh, right now we're heading away from the land with the wind in a similar spot uh, where we were a couple minutes ago with our Travel S. Uh, but before we get into the differences between the two, I just want to elaborate on the point I made before about power output and runtime. So right now our speed is about 3.8, 3.9 knots. Our power output is 400 watts, which is about 25% of total output, right? 1.6 kilowatts or 1600 watts. Um, our runtime is just under three hours right now, and our state of charge is 84%, so pretty similar to what we had with the Travel S. Uh, in a second, we're gonna go to full power output and we're gonna see how those numbers change. You can hear a little bit of cavitation issue. So our speed is 4.8 knots. Our runtime is 54 minutes. And again, that's at 1.6 kilowatts, full power output. So not really any difference there between the Travel XP and the Travel S. The speed's almost exactly the same. I think a 10th of a knot was our difference. Um, and you know, we really didn't gain much going from 25% throttle to 100% throttle. So if you're on a dinghy like this, nine and a half foot inflatable soft bottom dinghy, uh, you won't see too much of a difference between the Travel XP and the Travel S in calm conditions uh, because the boat reaches hull speed, right? It's hard for the boat to get past that hull speed, which is, you know, essentially a function of the length and the shape of the hull. Um, the times when you might see a bigger difference, and we'll find this out in a second when we turn around, is if you have a big heavy boat or a bigger dinghy with a lot of people in it. Uh, for reference, there are two adults in this dinghy, uh, probably about 350 pounds or so. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll turn around now and let's see how this does when we're heading into the week. All right, so our speed, we're at about 4.3 knots. We've got 51 minutes of runtime, 4.4 knots. So again, not a huge difference between the Travel XP and the Travel S on this boat. I think we are at 3.9 knots uh, with the Travel S doing the same direction a few minutes ago. Uh, so again, it drives the point home. If you've got a small boat, the Travel S is probably plenty. The Travel XP is the way to go if you've got a bigger boat that necessitates that extra power. So I'd like to take a few minutes here to clarify a few things that we discussed when we were on the water filming this video to help you decide if the Travel S or the Travel XP is the way to go. So in short, the Travel S has enough power for most dinghies and small sailboats because once you hit hull speed, it's hard for the boat to move beyond that speed. And as you saw in this video, the top speed differences between the XP and the S in a small nine and a half foot dinghy are marginal. The people who should spend the extra money to get the extra power that the XP can provide are people who have bigger and heavier boats. So if you're a sailor and you're looking at one of these motors for your sailboats, once you start to get above a thousand pounds or so, especially if you have a keel, 
that's when we start to recommend the XP. Uh, we're gonna do another video where we test this out on my sailboat when it's a little bit uh, rougher out than it was in the video that you're looking at now. Uh, so we can get a little bit better of an idea there. But if you're in a bigger sailboat in windier conditions, you definitely want the extra power from the XP. And once you start to get above 1500 pounds or so, you know, even in calm conditions, it's really nice to have the added power from the Travel XP. Same goes if you're in a bigger dinghy or a dinghy that is often loaded with more than two people. It's nice to have that extra power or if you're in an area with a lot of wind and current. So in short, if you have a smaller sailboat, smaller dinghy, usually not very many people in the boat, it's relatively lightweight, the Travel S will probably be plenty of power for you. But if you have a bigger sailboat or a bigger, heavier dinghy that's usually loaded with more people and gear, it's nice to have the option of uh, the extra power from the XP. Now, if you get the XP on a boat that really only needs the S, there's not a huge downside to it. Uh, you'll just find that you typically don't run above about a thousand watts. The only other thing worth mentioning here is that we have had some customers who put the XP on a lightweight boat. Uh, some of them have had cavitation issues with the prop in some, some aeration. The solve for that, from what we've found, is uh, putting on the weedless propeller from Torquedo. That seems to solve most of those cavitation issues. Uh, also, less likely to get seaweed stuck in, uh, in the propeller. And from what we understand from Torquedo, is that the weedless propeller actually increases your top speed a little bit, uh, but decreases your efficiency a little bit. And that's another video that we'll have coming soon on uh, trying out both of those props. So we sell both of these motors in our online store. We ship everywhere in the continental US. If you'd like to order one, we'll leave links in the description below. If you've got any questions on either of these motors, or you want us to make any other videos related to them, leave a comment below and we'll get sure to be sure to get back to you. And if you want to stay in the loop on everything electric outboards, please subscribe. It helps make these videos happen.